Hey everybody, this is Brandon with Input Club continuing to show you how to use the configurator. We're going to cover locking and latching and how they work. So locking works like the caps lock key. If you use, if you assign lock one to a key, then you end up with being able to push that key and locking over to layer one. So I have assigned lock one to this button right here and if I push that and release it it will switch to layer one permanently until I push that key again lock one and if I once I push it again I get come back to this layer that's how locking work latching works like works a little bit differently and latching essentially lets you press this button and release it. So if I assign this button to latch one, if I push this button and release it, I will now be on layer one until I push any one key. So it could be up arrow, side arrow, doesn't matter. Any one key gets pressed and it reverts back to the main layer. It's so you don't have to hold down a button to stay on a layer if you just want to push one thing. For example, if I wanted to turn my LEDs off, I could assign them to LED or to layer one, I could assign them, let's say, over here, and I assign that to LED off. So now I could push latch and then LED off, and my and my layout will go back to the main layout, and I don't have to worry about holding that down while I'm pushing the LED off. I can push and release, and then push and release, and that's it. That's how locking and latching work.